Hi everyone, it's Jeanette, Crafty Dork. I'm just here, just checking out to see how my um, new setup is going to go, whether we're going to get shadows or how it's how it's going. So what I want to do first, I've got two things to show you. First is I've printed off um, some papers that Sharon Tilliard has done. Now these are her um, beautiful tea dyes. That's the pink one. I think that is the neutral one of the neutrals she's got two neutrals um the blue absolutely beautiful each one i've printed um i've done this is on copy paper and that's the aubergine um that's the yellow and i don't ask me why but it's come out as though it's on lined paper um and i'll use it for that so i printed it again that's the yellow and that came out okay the next time so who would know hey and that's the purple and that's the other neutral so you can see one is a little bit darker than the other so i think this is one and that's two but one or the other and then the green and green didn't come out very green for me it's come out more yellow um, my printer the colors are all there but whether <clears throat> for some reason it's this I don't know who would know hey this one I've done on I get um, it's called it's a photo um, presentation paper and what's the brand so we've got the brand here not on that one and, oh, not on that one. Why? I think it's this one. You Unikit Inkjet Media Range. This one is 100 and, 160 GSM or something. Or 120. I bought it and it was just too thick to go through my printer so I, uh, I had I've just put it up here so I'm going to use it as cardstock um, but I just love this um, and uh, it prints out really well so this is on that and you can see if I bring the pink one back in I'll just use one as a, an example because Sharon's been through it all in her video which I will link below so you can see that the pink is a bit vivid. Now this one I did on, I printed it on plain paper and I did it on, a, on the standard setting. This one I did on the plain paper and the vivid, standard vivid on my computer. And then this one over here, which is again on presentation paper, but I did it on um, Epson paper and I did the high quality but it's come out and it's got all different colors it's got little spots all over here this is purpley color um yes yeah, so I'll show you those in a minute so it's come out entirely different again so I've got three beautiful effects from the one kit and I have got lines here again I must clean my heads I think and there we go again I'll use them anyway a bit like I think Sharon has often said she gets lines well not now that she's had a printer fixed hey and there we go that's the yellow the purple this was the aubergine and it's got different little colors here which I don't know if that's the way it was I've turned it off okay I'll turn it off and then the oven yeah, it's on a, okay. Like a, roasting, um, roasting probably. And there's um the, the green one. On and, and oh, okay. Obviously, I've got the, the oven, left the oven on. I, we're having the kids over for roast tomorrow, and I cheated and did the meat today. So there's the pink. Now, for some reason, my printer has gone all haywire on the ends. So I'm going to have to go in and clean the heads and um, 
this is the neutral one and it's got but i don't mind it's i'll still use these because that's turned into a beautiful colors and i really like the way that one's got a bit of a purpley hue to it i bet i could not can't do it again and i think this is the i think that's the blue one which is still very purpley so i must go and clean things up in there but i still love them i think they are just gorgeous so those were a bit of a dud really um but um still usable so what i'm going to do this i've i made this ages ago it's um, a book i pulled to pieces and i got stuck into pulling the pages out and gluing together for a um altered book and um, i started it and it's time to uh, get on and finish it so i left the front plane um i may decorate that i may not um i just like the look of i just like plain and you can journal there here i've left this space plain for journaling and i've used the um blue butterflies from Artie mays i've got the um a little collage there and here i've just got a page to just twist up the page journal space there this one is full journal space and journal space here and around the corner and i've put a little strip from the one of Artie may's collage kits on there a little bit of a cluster happening there this one i've got um is a little piece of a doily it's um it should be right next to me here yeah that was the doily right and i've just cut little medallions off it just to pop one there and one down on the side here i think i'm still in camera aren't i there is a shadow there isn't there let's see what that looks like um here i've got a little envelope that i've popped on with some of that blue um collage paper and just a little journaling space in there so that goes in there and it just closes and flips back and just pops under that butterfly to hold it in place this one i've just put a little pocket on the side with a medallion there and just twist it up with lace i'll put the lace down here as well and um your um, tag in that pocket this one is um, an envelope and I've just decorated the outside plain paper in the back and just made a little tag out of the kit. Now, as with most of my um, things I put on pages, you can go into the back there as well um, and into there. This one, I've got the butterfly to hold it down and then I've basically had a little slit there. Um, I've made a little journal just got some of my tea dyed paper the cover is a piece of it's a shiny pearlized um, cardstock and i've just covered the top over i've sort of gone over um, and then this just slots down into that space and the butterfly holds it in place a little bit of um, seam binding there to do that and this one, one of my pockets that I make with the um, book pages, um, cuts across here, another one across there, and then you've got your little lip there. So this one could have gone in, in, oh my God, my hands aren't working very well at all today yeah so we can pop one in there as well in fact i might just put this one in there there we go and then you can have one at the back as well i'll just let him sit up a bit higher too and then that one goes in there into that pocket and this one slips into this pocket and then i've got three little journaling cards just pop into here 
Let's get that one up a little bit higher. And it came down here like that. So I just inked around the edges. I didn't worry about covering up the um, the words. It's um, the, as far as I can see, there's nothing offensive there. Just a little bit of lace, and then one of the um, embellishments out of the book. This is um, a butterfly from a piece of um, linen. I think it was a doily, um, and um, I've got some lace behind it. A little card here, and then. Whoops, a daisy, it does. I'm sure it does. It's supposed to. Oh, come on. There we go. It's decided to stick down, hasn't it? There we go. So we've got a Rita Donnelly flip up. And then this, so this was the book page at the back. Um, I basically folded that one over and the piece of the book page that was left down the bottom I folded back up and that's it there and then that goes in there and if you're worried about this flipping around and I've just pulled that up um, you can put a little um, I had one here that I curled the edges on. I saw it. There it is. I saw it. I saw it today when I was tidying up. So you can pop that on there like that. Just to hold it in place. This side is, um, I've just put two pieces down and they're from Auntie May's collage kit. This is book page. I've got lace down the centre. Do I have? Oh no, I've have told you about that. This is two little pockets from the kit. And what I want to do today, I'm going to use, I think, some of the blue from um, you know Sharon's kit. She's saying how, you know, is it, um, she feels funny saying how she loves her kit. And I thought, no, you are just so proud and you should be very proud of what you've done. It's just, I love it. It's just a beautiful uh, set of colour and um, you should be proud of yourself and love it. It's beautiful. I actually wrote blue on the back of this so, so what I don't need a lot um, and that is yeah that's the size there so what I'm going to do on the back of that is just pop I would love to be um, sewing today but I can't because I've just had the room done and I haven't got my sewing machine all set up. So um, these little tags you can sew if you want to. And this one is just going to be very simple. Um, but when I saw the papers, I, um, I've been working all week. So I haven't had a lot of time to watch YouTube. And um, I, yeah, I didn't even realise that... Um, um, Gail is doing a, an altered book and that's terrible because I usually watch everything that Gail does might not comment but I do um, watch it all and um, I thought well how at great minds but I've been trying to get back to this book for a long time so it's a good time to do it and uh, I've got quite a few other ones there that are ready to um, go and, and do. So hopefully I'll get around to doing those as well. So like I said, very simple, very quick and easy. When I put 
these little pockets on. They're just the right size for my, um, I don't know what this one was. Uh, what I've got, no idea. Um, but it's just the right size for that to fit in. And I sort of fit that in and, and push it down. So that's why I put that on there to, to cut it out. And I've just cut that crooked there. Um, okay, it'll be inked. Okay. So we want it. How tall do we want it? It's a little pocket, but it could do with it then. Let's go half. I've got another light here and I don't know whether I need that as well on with uh, I shouldn't with the new lighting that I've got but who knows because uh, I've got I've got three big LED lights in in there it will be like, like a Christmas tree at night time. The neighbours at the back will be able to really see what I'm doing now. Okay. So we've got that. I'm going to just round the corners. I just love the... I'm not covering these up with much at all because... I just love looking at it. There's so much going on that you um, you don't need much on them. They're just beautiful. Um, just, just a little bit there. And just a, a light inking. Oh, we've got some more there. Wasn't very good, was I? Yeah, I said I've been working really um, three days this week and it's been full on. And um, the captain wasn't there this week. Uh, and um, I was on my own one day. I thought, boy me. But I got through. Um, she had a conference to go to and came back very excited with, with what she um how the conference went so that's lovely it's always nice when the conference goes well isn't it okay so i'll just get rid of those little bits so we're going to pop those in there like so and i'm going to where are my little where on earth did i put them my little butterflies just going to pop a butterfly on it, I think. I had them already cut out too. They've got to be here somewhere, don't they? What's over here? <laughs> Holy dear, do, do, do. from Artie May's um, freebies on her website so I might just pop one of these oh, hope everybody's well hiding fit To our little girl, little granddaughter today, Peter's because he's at home, he's retired, he's been around there catching up and having cuddles and playing. And I didn't uh, haven't had a chance, so we went around this morning and had a catch up. And oh, she's just beautiful talking and 
in their own, in her own little way. But by Jing, she says bad mum, would you believe? You know, if she does something wrong, Sarah says bad Greta or bad girl, and she's picked up on bad mum or some. And that Simon said, "Oh yeah, right." And then she was sitting on her his lap, and she said it, and he said, "Oh, you are right." And she said, "Yeah, I told you so." <laughs> it's so cute. She's what? Well, what is she now? Nine months. Just, just a sweet, or just over eight months, eight and a half, I think. Yeah, oh. they are precious, aren't they? And then we went and saw the others because. Uh, I haven't been able to see Mara because she's been at kindy and uh, she's got transition into school for next year. She's got to go for five days to the school here and what's in Kadena where I work. Uh, so I can see someone saying, Mum, do you want to take her to school? We'll see. Yeah, so that's all I want to do, just something like that, just to um, break up the plainness and not really take away from it. I think that is just, that's cute. So, just a little quick one today and I'll be back in the next video and we'll do a full page in this. Um, altered book. I have, I'm not doing um, Gail does uh, pockets and and flips with the pages and um, I did ages ago start one of those and it turned into a um, great mess because it just was getting too bulky and I ended up don't tell anybody but I threw it in the bin it was just it just didn't work out properly so off she went I couldn't have it couldn't handle it so there we go. That's little tags made with Sharon's kit. And I think they're absolutely beautiful. You don't need anything else. There's so much colour there. You could journal on the back as well as journal on the front. Uh, journal on the front as well as the back. And a um, little butterfly just to um, add a little bit of interest. And that page, I'm not going to do anything more with it. Um, you could, as I'm, if I if I write in it, if I have end up keeping it, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but you can journal here and um, you could always pop extra bits and pieces on there as well. So this is what will be happening in the next one. We'll do something there and there's quite a few, as you can see, to still do. So... We'll keep going, whether we use the butterfly, the blue butterfly kit, or whether we just use, I'll be using Artie May's stuff as well for it, but we might just use some of her other bits and pieces as well. So I hope you enjoyed that little quick one. And um, this will be, I'm not sure, I think it will be happening on Friday, um, if I can get it uploaded in time. And we'll see you. So that's just a little idea for our Helpful Friday hints with the little tags. So until we meet next time, happy crafting and bye for now.